Everybody, what's going on? It is time for the month four, week 16, Duff's of Darts recap. Uh, I'm Ed. I've been on this journey now for four straight months of documenting my progress to get from a 20 down to a 10 handicap in 10 months. Uh, let's recap uh, what happened last week, and then I'll talk about you know month four and then what I got planned for month five. So a little bit longer of a check-in than the normal week to week, but if uh, you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe and like button. This is an every week vlog. Every week I'm going to talk about what happened. If you haven't checked in the other ones, they're all on this channel. But here's how we go for right now for month four. So last week, uh, practice wise goes, I was inside. Big shock there because weather is still stupid. It just never ends with the bad weather, it just never ends. Yeah. Rain, snow, rain, snow, wind, snow, rain. I quit. Still garbage. Uh, it seems like anytime I have a nice day uh, here, it's, I'm either at work, so I'm inside my office for, you know, nine hours, um, driving the hour to and from work each way. So basically all daylight is shot, all outside time is done, no chance of it, and then weekends are, they're busy. You know, weekends I've got dad duty, I've got house duty, I've got things to do. So when the weather doesn't cooperate, it makes it very difficult to go out and practice. So a lot of my inside practice happened again this week. Um, Saturday was my daughter's recital for dance. So before then, I was just doing some chip shots. So I put my bucket chair in the corner uh, of the apartment and I stood over there. So I had like a, I don't know, 20 yards, maybe? I don't know, I didn't measure it out. But I was hitting pitch shots into that. For me, low-hanging fruit is always going to be that short game. It's my favorite part of golf. I love chipping, putting, pitching, so I practice that the most. So that was doing that, so I was able to drop actually a decent amount into the bucket for practice. Uh, putting, worked in the hallway, worked on lag putting, worked on my putt out inside, just, you know, keeping, you know, keeping the shoulders moving at the same motion. So I went into Sunday's round pretty confident that I was going to you know, I was going to play well. I've been practicing for four months straight. I have been really dedicated to trying to get better. So I figured this 18 hole round, it was a nice day. It was like 70 degrees. It wasn't super windy. It had rained all week up until like Thursday. So I had a feeling it would kind of dry out there. Not the case. So there was a lot of people at the golf course this day. First nice day we've had here in a while, so it's not surprising that it was a lot of you know a lot of people. I was a single. I was out there by myself. I messaged a bunch of people. They were all unable to play. It was a Sunday, so people have church. People have things going on with their family. So that that happens, right? So I got paired up with a female police officer from Chicago. She drove up. She just started playing. She had a nice set of PXGs. So uh, Maria. I believe that was her name. It's been a couple days. I forgot. It was started with an M. She's a very nice uh, lady. And in addition to her were, were uh, two gentlemen. Um, they work not too far away from where you know where I live. Much much closer to where I live than where my office is. Uh, Greg and Matt, really great guys. Uh, Matt hit the hell out of the ball. I mean, his drive like he does that like skip thing where it goes up. Uh, played with them. Really great guys. Really enjoyed playing with them. I was much more talkative in the beginning of the round than I was at the back end of the round. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, needless to say, my terrible, terrible progress off the tee continues. There is absolutely no chance in hell that I will hit my goal playing the way I play. No shot. I am... I'm getting worse. Figure it out. I need to practice it, guys. I need to go to an actual range and hit off of a tee, not off of a rubber tee, to get out there and practice it because instead of just pushing to the right and missing to the right and not getting the ball to draw, can't draw it all. 
period, no shot, no draw, not one single time. I was slicing, which I haven't sliced in years. My miss was always a hook. Uh, I know I'm coming outside in. I must have developed that habit inside doing the 100 swings, which I mentioned I need to cut back on because I'm developing bad habits. But I was slicing the ball. I was topping it. I did not hit a single good drive. Worst round of golf I've had in five years. But it'll get worse before it gets better. I'm not going to focus on how bad my tee shots were, and they were brutal. They were bad. Um, I need to focus on the positive. So what I practice the most, and you guys hear me talk about it every single week, is my short game. I practice you know, chipping and putting regularly. I love to do it. It's just my favorite part of golf. So I was, for the most part, chipping everything fairly close. I was putting really well. I used my Texas wedge, my putter, made a putt from off the green. Longest putt I had was a little over 10 feet, thanks to shot scope on that one. They, uh, this is the first round I got to really use it because the first time I went out and I did that first nine of 19, my shot scope wasn't picking up the course. It was registered as one giant one instead of the separate nines. And then my band had broken, so I had to get a new one, um, which is a, you know, it's upsetting, but it is what it is. Shot scope guys took care of me. Uh, they sent me another one out, so it was the first time I actually got to use the shot scope. Uh, this is really nice seeing the yardages wherever I was at, knowing what the middle front and back was, never having to really guess how far away I was, what club I needed to hit, uh, and the stat tracking was pretty sweet. Uh, I had 57% of my putts were two putts, I had 21% in one putt, and then I added a couple, three putts. Those guys, honestly, concentration, I was, it was a lot of frustration uh, with my bad tee shots and just total collapse of golf. Uh, I actually had to pick up on three different holes and I didn't even putt out. I'm just like, I'm done. You're way over par. You've lost several balls. OB, you're in some water. You don't get to, to play this hole. So I just picked up. Um, but further than that, I, you know, really, really good day putting, really good lag putts, really happy with that. Uh, that was the round of golf, basically. In a nutshell, the score is over 100. Like I said, I haven't done that in like five years. I was always in the low 90s. This was garbage. But we move forward, right? Uh, let's talk about the month. So here's the actual month check-in, right? So I had a goal of two outdoor range sessions. Check that out. I did two outdoor range sessions. Uh, it was really windy this month, really cold, a couple days of snow, rain, it makes, it makes it really difficult to get out there, but I did get two range sessions out. One of them, uh, my son and I were there for three hours, working a lot of short game putting drills, chipping and whatnot. Uh, another one, we went, we got a big, large bucket of balls, and I worked on driver. The negative thing about that is, I, yeah, I wasn't topping them that much, but it was so darn windy that I'm not getting a good feel as far as what I was really doing with my tee shots. You know, if I was were, were to hook the ball really bad, the wind was blowing so hard left to right that it was going to blow it back in. And then if I would had a little bit of a push or a little bit of a slice, that thing was gone. And it, I mean, it, it was really not a good gauge. Um, I need to do it more, though, because the drives are killing me. They're putting me in a terrible position. You know, we all know what drive for show, putt for dough, right? But when you are driving so terrible and you're in debt so bad by the time you get to the green, don't matter how well you're putting, you're already in trouble, you're in debt. It don't, doesn't do you any good. So I've got to work on that more. Uh, nine holes. So I, like I said, I, meant, I, I didn't get to play an additional nine holes. My goal this month was to do two outdoor range sessions, a nine hole, as well as an, a stretch goal of 18 holes. Didn't do the short nine, did do the 18. So I missed that, and then because of the weather, I did not do any of those lunch buckets that I talked about. I still have yet to start that this year. Those are gonna be really helpful when I start them, but I have not had any outdoor range practice. I have not had any you know, parking lot practice where I'm chipping you know, from the parking lot to a flag. None of that has happened. It's been too wet outside. The ground has either been filled with snow or mud puddles. Can't do it. Weather's better turning better. So we should see on that. For month five, the goals this month are pretty simple. We're playing more golf. 
I need to, I need to get out and actually log those rounds because to get that handicap down, I have to log rounds. And to work on things, to get better, I need to get real out life practice. I need to hit that tee shot. I need to play it from where it lands. I need to get to the hole and I need to, one, most important thing is I need to keep my mental focus. I had mentioned before um, a minute ago that when I was playing over the weekend that I had lost my mental focus. I wasn't talking as much on the back nine as I was on the front nine because I was just playing so terrible. I was cursing uh, loudly. Um, you know, the guys I was playing with, you know, they cursed as well. They were, you know, you know, really cool guys that way. Um, they even, you know, pulled out some music. And shout out to, to Matt and Greg on this. Before they even played out the speakers and started playing music on the course, which I don't mind. I, I enjoy it. But shout out to them. They asked me and they asked uh, the, the woman that was with us, uh, Maria, if it was okay if they play music. And then they asked what our preference was. So I thought that was a really cool move. So if you guys are watching this, I did mention the Duffs of Darts. Kudos to you guys. Hats off. That was a really cool move. Um, but by the back nine, I was hitting so bad. I, I wasn't talking much. I wasn't making jokes. I was trying to calm down, trying to focus on the tee shots, trying to say don't. You know, don't top this one. Don't slice. Just put it in play, and I top it, and I slice it. Very frustrating. We move forward, right? It's all we can do. Uh, I had a Roy McAvoy hole. Let's talk about this real quick. So there was, I laid up, laid it up to the wrong side of the fairway, had to chip out, and then it was like a 200-yard shot over water. I couldn't really see where the fairway was. It's not a really well-designed hole. It kind of sucks. But I hit, tried to go for the uh, the green, Missed it by maybe five yards. Give me another ball. Drop another ball down. Hit it. Miss it again. Give me another ball. Hit it. Miss it again. Put three or four in the water. At that point, I'm way over par. I picked it up. Done playing. Stop playing the hole. But that was dumb golf. Should have done that. Back on track. Um, another goal with this month that I want to do besides playing more is going to be going to the local course that I'm going to be doing a lot of my nine hole courses at or nine hole rounds. Uh, I want to log two nine hole rounds and one 18 hole round this month. The course is close to my house. I'm going to say it's my home course. It's called Boone Creek. It's three separate nine hole courses. They're all mapped with shot scope now. So I don't have to worry about that with my stats or my GPS. I'm good there, but they do have a grass range. So before every round, I need to hit a small bucket of just tee shots. That's the biggest part of my game that's a problem. Yes, you know, I, I should hit some putts before I get out there. Yes, I need to get loosened up with some iron shots, but the tee shots are, for me, they're killing me. So before every 18 hole or before every nine hole round, if possible, if there is a range there, I need to focus on driver and just kind of get some confidence levels up. Uh, to take advantage of more golf in the morning, I'm basically going to be really using that Supreme Golf app I mentioned to you guys last week. It is a cost saver. It is huge. And when I tell my wife I can go play nine holes of golf for you know ten dollars instead of you know twenty five dollars, it's really not as hard to argue with. Time wise, it's going to be you know rewind friendly. I think Frank and Mike on Golf Visit used to mention this all the time with the USGA being a sponsor. Uh, playing nine, it counts towards your handicap. It's time friendly, rewind friendly. It's good to go. Get out there, log those rounds. I can go play at 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday and be back before my daughter even needs to go to gymnastics and I can have the entire day to do dad stuff and husband stuff and still work on this goal. So that's what we're going to do. It's Mother's Day weekend. Hopefully, uh, you guys out there have done something nice for your wife. I got my wife a nice special little present, us and the kids. Uh, hopefully, she likes it. I'm not going to tell you what it is because she watches these, so I don't want to ruin it. Smart. But hopefully, you guys have done that. Uh, here's a reminder. If you haven't, go get your wife and mother something for Mother's Day. Last goal for this month, um, besides those, is going to be averaging two putts or below on every hole. Putting is the strongest part of my game. That gives me confidence for the next hole because I like to finish on a strong note. If I'm having a bad hole, if I hit that bad lag putt, let's not take those three footers for granted. Let's make sure that we hit those home. Pull that fly stick out. That's for me. I've noticed I don't like to leave it in. Pulling it out. Don't be lazy. Make the putts. But that's it for the month four check-in. That's it for Duffs and Darts this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Keep grinding. <laughs>